Well, hello guys and welcome to another episode of Mr. Web Reviews and in today's video we are going to review the WooCommerce login and registration plugin from YI Themes. So why is this plugin so vital and useful on any WooCommerce website? Because the key to a successful e-commerce website is to remove as many stumbling blocks as possible. And stumbling block number one that your visitors will encounter is usually at registration. So if the registration process is too complicated or too tedious, this will lead to some visitors leaving your website even though they had planned to purchase from you. And you will see in this review, this plugin will make your registration process as easy as could be. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So here's an example for, for instance here, we, we let's say uh, your customers added sneakers, a pair of sneakers for $98 and they're ready to uh, proceed to check out, but they haven't registered yet. So he, here is where the, the problem usually is. That's where people will leave. If, it, if it's too complicated, that's it. They're gone. They were ready to buy, but they're not going to buy. So look at this one here, how easy it is. So let's click on proceed to check out. There you go. So here you're prompted to either log in or register. So it's one or the other. So if you already registered, it's very easy to log in. Just type in your email address and continue. If you are not logged in yet, if you don't have a login or not registered, you can register now in just one simple step. You can either use uh, Google, your Google account, or your Facebook account, which is very straightforward and will get you straight to the next step in just one click. Otherwise, if you don't want to use those two means of logging in, you can use your email address. So let's say you're going to put your name. Let's say your email address is yourname at gmail.com. So they make it very easy for you again here because they offer you a few options. The main ones, you just, which is at gmail.com, at hotmail.com, at hotmail.com, yahoo.com, icloud.com, which would be the main uh, mail providers uh, currently on the market. So let's say I have a Gmail account. I would click on this. So again, they make it very easy for you to go through to the next step. So I just click continue. And now I'm prompted to set up a password for myself. So I could type in anything really here, you know. I can ask uh, Google to uh, suggest a strong password because I'm currently using uh, Google Chrome. I accept the terms and condition. You can remove this. That's up to you. You can have it or not have it. And then I have to confirm that I am not a robot. Uh, I am not. So let's click register and proceed to check out. And there you go, just like that, you are registered. So let's say if I wanted to come back to this website later on, maybe to buy more items from this website, all I have to do is simply click on this icon here, login or register, again, the same steps, but this time I just want to log in. So your name at gmail.com, continue, type in your password, sign in, and there you go, Bob's your uncle, all done, all set. Okay, so let me show you the back end and how to set up things to make it uh, your own, to personalize it. So here you have the pop-up size, 450. So as you remember here, if we go back here, this is our size. Now it's up to you, you can have it smaller, you can have it bigger. Uh, close pop-up by clicking on the background. So here you have to click on it physically to click on this. But if you click on the background, if you select that, you just have to click anywhere around it and it will uh, close. So do you want to blur the background? Yes or no. So here you can see the background is blurred at the moment, but you have you can have it crisp so keep people can read. The only thing is usually with a pop-up window, you'd like to have the background blurred so this stands out on its own. And then you have the animation. You can decide how you want it to come uh, to come up on your screen, you want it to fade in, fade in up, fade in, in down, etc. etc. So there are different effects. Uh, you can bounce in, bounce up, and uh, flip it, uh, slide in up, 
zoom in, zoom out, etc. So I'm not going to test them all, but you get the gist here. You can have different animations as well. And then you can personalize the colors, obviously. Uh, you can make it your own, so it will match your... So in order to match your uh, logo colors and your company colors and the uh, general look of your website. So here we have green, have you seen? So this is the green, the button. Uh, this is that green here, uh, this one here, sorry. And when you hover on top, it will go a bit uh, in the lighter green. And you can do this here as well and achieve that with uh, those changes. When you finish, just don't forget to save. Save the changes for, for them to apply. And then we have the first step options. In here, you can tweak the message and whatever your customers will see, your visitors will see. So here we have proceed to check out. So this would be this message here, proceed to check out. And you have but first, login or register. Uh, but first, login or register. So you can change that again and make it your own. And then you have a few more options here. Enter your email address. Enter your email address and then continue and then let's continue here so all these can be uh, modified and changed obviously and then we have our settings here for the google login and facebook login so you would need you require an api key obviously from google and facebook so i will not go through this uh, in this video but uh, please feel free to look it up online but uh, you need obviously to create an API key in order to have those working on your website. And then we have the login options. And again, here you can tweak it and make your own. You can change the message and whatever you, you want it to be. Uh, proceed to checkout. Welcome back. Great to see you again. Enter your password to continue, etc. etc. So it's very straightforward to be honest. And then we have uh, register options. Again, you can change everything you want in here to make it your own. And at the bottom here, that's where you have the Google reCAPTCHA uh, credentials. So this is where you're going to put your uh, reCAPTCHA public key, reCAPTCHA uh, private key. And this is just to make sure that you're not a robot and avoid uh, spamming on your website. And then lost password options. If someone loses their password, what do you want them to do? What is the message you want them to read? So recover your password. That's pre pretty straightforward. I would leave it as is. Lost your password? Question mark. So it's fairly, fairly simple, isn't it? And then recovery password. Recovery password type. So you want the classic type. So the user will receive a link by email to reset the password or with code. So the user will receive a code by email to set up a new password without leaving the checkout process which again is very uh, cleverly done because again he will not be leaving uh, the checkout process making it easy again just in case if they got the password wrong anyways make it as simple as possible and to be honest they really thought of everything you know i mean you have the code input label what do you want them to see uh, send code again label not receive the code resend it uh, the button text continue set a new password and login you can literally tweak anything you want in this it is done fantastically to be honest there's a lot a lot of work put in there so let me show you where this plugin is located in the plugin section so it is here and it is called YITH uh, Easy Login and Register Pop-up for WooCommerce. And to access the settings, you can either click on this uh, link here or you can click on YIT and then Easy Login Register Pop-up in the toolbar. So usually you would access it from here. Just click on that and there you go. You have access to all the settings like I just showed you. Now, the price of this plugin is $59.99 for a single site. Now, if you're planning to get this for multiple sites, you might have uh, multiple e-commerce websites uh, that you own and you, you run and operate, in which case you might want to go for the six sites options because if you multiply uh, 59 by 3, that's basically it. So you're saving uh, on uh, three uh, licenses, basically. Now, if you are a web designer, 
or web developer and doing work for your clients, you might want to take 30 sites, in which case it's actually at the moment the exact same price as the six licenses. So why would you even choose this one, by the way? But anyways, now $59.99, it's a small investment considering all the benefits you can get from this because as I said earlier on, uh, the main key to a successful e-commerce website lies in removing as many stumbling blocks as possible. And the main stumbling block for most visitors is usually a checkout when they have to register. So by using this plugin, you are making sure that customers will go through all these steps as easily as possible and make it as smooth and simple as could be. And thanks to this, obviously, you will generate more sales, more income for yourself. And all in, $59.99 is not much. So there you go, guys. All you need to know about this plugin. It's a well-crafted plugin and well thought out for sure. They managed to develop a plugin that is both very effective and super easy to configure. So all in, I would give this plugin a solid 8.5 out of 10. And to be honest, at this price point, it's an amazing value as well, considering how many additional sales you'll be generating soon thanks to it. As always, I'll put a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so you can purchase this plugin at no extra cost to you. But by using this link, we get a small commission which helps support this channel. Now, if you're in the mood for more of these reviews and tutorials, please consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.